Hi everybody, how are you doing? Larry Gibbons, president of the Gibbons Group here in downtown Bethesda, Maryland. I am here today to talk to you about what's going on in Bethesda development. I'm sure you've all seen the cranes everywhere. We're going to tell you what's going on and what's coming soon. Stay tuned. <music> So I'm sure just like me, you have been stuck in construction traffic, rerouted on your trips through Bethesda, and wondering what the heck that crane is going to be. What, what is that giant land hole going to be? And I'm here to tell you what it is. So we're going to start with the big one. 7272 Wisconsin Avenue, as most of you know, is the former United Artists Movie Theater. That is actually the biggest development going on right now in Bethesda and going to be kind of a game changer. It's going to be the location of the Purple Line stop just off to the side of it. It's going to be 1.4 million square feet, 340,000 square feet of office, and 560,000 square feet of residential, along with some retail space. Uh, the biggest new tenant that that's bringing in, because obviously all these new buildings got to be bringing in new jobs and you know, all of those people moving into these residential buildings have got to have somewhere to work, right? So Fox 5 is actually relocating from its Wisconsin Avenue location in Northwest DC to Bethesda, Maryland, bringing new jobs. So that's that building. The next building that you've probably noticed and is the furthest along is 4747 Bethesda Avenue. This is the JBG development in Bethesda Row. It's a very cool looking black steel building. Uh, this building is actually going to deliver in June of 2019 and it's got a it's a full office building It's 287,000 square feet and it's got a host of new tenants. It's got or Oranano, it's got host hotels and it's got Booz Allen Hamilton all bringing a sub substantial amount of jobs to the area Gonna be really great for the market um, and then we've got 7750 Wisconsin Avenue, which is another biggie Probably the biggest name that's been floating out there, Marriott Hotels. Marriott Hotels is coming to Bethesda. Uh, it's planned to deliver in 2022. It is a 1.5 million square foot building, uh, part hotel, part office. It's gonna be a beautiful building residing right along Wisconsin Avenue, right where the old Smoothie King used to be. So it's gonna be 22 stories and that's gonna bring in several thousand new jobs and a lot more people traveling in and out of Bethesda every day, obviously filling up some of these residences that we've got going on. Uh, next, we've got 8280 Wisconsin Avenue, probably the lesser known of all these buildings. This is the old Sunoco gas station down at the end of Bethesda. Uh, it's gonna, actually, this is a really unique use. It's going to be a 10 story lab tower in downtown Bethesda, we've got an out-of-state bio tenant coming to the building. Again, new to the state, new jobs, delivering in 2021, good for the market. And then the final building that we have, actually we've got two more buildings that we have the most information about is the 7373 Wisconsin Avenue building. Also, you probably know it, you local people probably know it as the old police station. It's going to be an 18-story, 360,000 square foot office building. And we've also got Bethesda Metro 4, which I'm sure anybody who's lived around here has heard about forever. It's going to be an office, residential building, residing where Street Sense is, where that old eatery used to be. Um, that's going to be another new building. Uh, some of the rumored buildings that have been going on that are pretty far along would be the Farmer's Market. Um, the women's farmers market is going to be moved and there's going to most likely be a building on that location. Uh, if you listen, if you follow our podcast, the real at DMV, we actually do an interview with, uh, town of Chevy Chase mayor, Barney Rush, who talked a lot about what might happen with those parking lots. So make sure to check out the real DMV podcast, uh, for more information on that one, the Citibank across from Benny Hanna, um, that lot along with the Pete's Diner, the liquor store right there, and the uh, house, the staging house behind it have all been purchased by BF Saw Company and will eventually be developed to something. And additionally, 7316 was just purchased by BF Saw in May. Uh, I believe it closes in January of 2019 and it's supposed to be a 350 unit apartment building. It is actually the building that used to hold Bank of, or that I believe still holds Bank of America. Um, you know, haven't been in there with all the construction going on at 7272. Anyway, everybody, thank you so much for your time. Uh, enjoy your weekend. We'll see you soon.
Hey everybody, thank you so much for watching. As always, for more great information, check out www.gibbonsgp.com. We've got all this great information up there along with a lot more. Thank you so much for watching.